Good morning, afternoon or evening. I'm glad to see you all. The world declared COVID-19 a pandemic and proclaimed a war against the virus. With our daily lives being no longer normal, face-to-face -face meetings between people have been minimized and instead, non-contact meetings have become the norm. Then, what do you think about holding this skills competition at which a lot of people need to gather? Do you think that the infinite postponement is the only answer? You may have heard of the word post-corona. It is the compound word made of post, which means after, and COVID-19, meaning the social changes which would follow the coronavirus pandemic. In the post-corona era, in which direction should the skills competition go? Just stopping the competition on fear of the virus is not the answer, because the skills competition is so meaningful to us all. The competition has values and meanings which are more than just finding the excellently skilled and awarding them with medals. The skills competition is the arena for training people to perfection, which encourages the next generation to train more and get upgraded. The same goes for the competitors at the skills competition, who have to fight against themselves in long periods of training to become eligible participants at the competition. So the participation itself is meaningful to them, regardless of their win or loss in the competition. The skills competition is also a place for learning. What's even more significant than the participants itself is that the competition helps competitors learn skills of other people, draw a better future and make Korea a more developed skills powerhouse. Especially as we're now in the fourth industrial revolution era, Learning of various core skills helps the skilled to adapt to the fast-changing industrial structure and labor market. As such, we could not give up the skills competition because it is the arena for adolescents to grow and harmonize. The other word for untact is digital contact. Though it is hard to freely move and meet, it is possible to make connection between people by using digital technology. Now we have to ponder over the skills competition in the post-corona era in order to overcome restrictions in physical moving and contact. Do you remember how during the early days of the coronavirus breakout, Korea had been a country which people around the world wanted to avoid? Korean people were laughed at for wearing face masks Back then, Korea had the second largest number of COVID-19 infections after China. What about now? Countries from all around the world want to learn Korea's quarantine system. K-quarantine has basically become the world standard. That can be attributed to excellent ideas and following through with those, such as the five-day rotation system for purchasing masks, the epidemiological study support system, drive-through screening clinics, and high-intensity social distancing. Shouldn't it be possible for us to open up a new chapter of hope if we apply K-quarantine rules to the skills competition? The on-tact skills competition started in the new normal era when rules such as wearing masks all day long and one-meter distancing have become the new standards. Five thousand five hundred fifty competitors from seventeen cities and provinces participated in the local skills competition, which had been postponed for two months due to the outbreak of COVID-19. The competition was conducted under strict compliance of K-quarantine rules. First of all, the list of participants was logged by using mobile QR codes when competitors entered the venue, and thermometers were installed at every entrance. And in addition, the wearing of masks was made mandatory and hand sanitizers were placed all over so that people could actively join in preventative measures. Was it due to this strict compliance with quarantine measures? The 2020 National Skills Competition was opened without suspicious cases or potential patients with symptoms during the entire competition. 
1,778 competitors in 50 skills representing 17 cities and provinces participated in the National Skills Competition. Amid the pandemic, there were a lot of changes in the method of operating the competition in accordance to the level of social distancing. The competition was held under level 2 social distancing, which meant no audience was allowed to prevent the possible spread of COVID-19. However, as Korea is a well-known IT powerhouse, we used non-contact technologies to allow the audiences to watch the opening ceremony and awarding ceremony through the web. In addition, we produced an open stadium with a large screen for each competition held in seven venues in order to help people watch and broadcast them in real time. We ensured that the organizers and staff can watch the competition from the studio and vividly transmit the competition to the online audiences. We transformed large events such as congratulatory performances to non-contact video programs and at the same time produced various kinds of video contents such as music videos, master invitation lectures and additional non-contact events for the general public's easy understanding of the competition. While the non-contact program was in preparation, the competition organizers had undergone daily self-monitoring since 10 days before the competition, taking into regard the incubation period of the coronavirus. In addition, all competitors and staff who wanted to access the competition had to get self-diagnosis through a website and make reservations for their access. In addition, we changed the standard and method of scoring into a smart scoring system that's adjusted to the COVID-19 era. We also prepared response manuals in the case of coronavirus confirmations during the competition. Under the ongoing Level 2 social distancing measures, we restricted teachers and audiences from accessing the venues. In case of an upgrading to Level 3, we decided to stop the event right away and start to evaluate the works processed up until that point. In addition, we prevented competitors and experts who are waiting for COVID-19 test results from accessing the venues regardless of whether they have any infectious symptoms or not. However, despite all of these quarantine efforts, we ended up with one auditor having been infected with the coronavirus. One expert for prototype modeling tested positive for COVID-19. The expert who worked at a car company was assumed to have been infected with the disease on September 11th after he had contact with an infected company colleague. We tracked key movements of the expert who tested positive and conducted screenings on 18 experts from two skills who had indirect contact with them. All of them tested negative for the virus. We could prevent any secondary damages from COVID-19 because we asked all people to strictly comply with quarantine rules and took rapid actions. Eventually, we wrapped up the competition by holding an online awarding ceremony on September 21, 2020 as the final stage. The holding of the competition under such an emergency situation would not have been possible without everyone's efforts including those made by the competitors, experts, and all other staff. 과연 경기를 할수 있을까? 대회를 개최할 수 있을까? 이것이 가장 걱정이었거든요. 준비한 선수들이 단지 몇 개월 준비하는 게 아니고 긴 경기 대회는 보통 한 2년 내지 3년을 준비를 합니다. 그래서 대회를 반드시 개최해야 된다고 생각을 했고 또 철저하게 마스크를 쓰고 격리된 상태에서 제한된 인원이 경기장에 들어가서 이루어졌기 때문에 문제 없이 진행되었습니다. 어, 우리나라뿐만 아니라 모든 그 어려운 그런 그 유럽이나 아프리카 이런 나라도 다 코로나 상황에서 어, 우리 기술 인재들이 어, 나름대로 어, 기능을 잘 연마하는 어, 그런 그 상황이 되었습니다. Now we have to prepare ourselves for the 2022 Shanghai World Skills Competition, which was postponed by a year. Despite our physical distance, our minds get closer to each other thanks to IT and K-quarantine. 
We will do our utmost for the skilled next generation to overcome COVID-19 and make a leap forward into a safer and bigger world.